In this video, we'll cover the new Fieldwork Calendar. So after you click Calendar, if you are in Month or if you are in Week View, you won't see the new mapping feature. However, in Day View, you'll have the opportunity to click the arrow and have a layover page with a new map. In addition to that, if you utilize the work pool or mist features, you can click work pool and mist, click the filter list button, search by customer name, filter out specific dates. You can filter by route, also by frequency. That will then display a list of appointments and you can minimize that to see a full list again. From here, if I click a pinpoint on the map, it modifies the distance for all of my appointments in my work pool or in my missed appointment list. So again, if I click a different pinpoint, it will again switch the mileage so I can dictate where I'm going to be scheduling appointments from, what's my central location from that moment. So now from this point, I can find the first appointment on my first schedule, and that would be that appointment, and that will then show me all of my appointments in my list as they are in distance. So I don't have anything that's fairly close in my list to my first appointment, but when I check to compare against my second appointment, I have quite a few. So from there, I can drag and drop onto my calendar appointments that might be close to my second appointment. Now, it will not allow me to schedule anything in the past. My red line dictates the current time of day, but I can schedule in the future, and so I can keep moving my appointments here. Now to move into my second technician's calendar, I can find the appointment for this technician, which should be right there. And when I click that technician's, I can see everything that is around that appointment. My second appointment is pretty far away. So what I'm going to do is modify my second appointment down to the end of the day. And if it's attached to reoccurring appointments, I can update this only or update all. For that purpose, I'll update one only. And again, when I click my first appointment, I can find everything that is nearby. So I'm going to move up to my first appointment here and drag and drop over to my calendar. And again, I'm populating my day based on location. Again, I can move over to the missed appointment app file and drag again anything that is relatively close by. So I'm minimizing my drive time. So this is the best way to build your calendar. For each route that is showing, if I click the street, it will provide driving directions. Now I can again build my schedule for all of my technicians I can view one, two, or all of my technician schedules on this page and therefore changing the colors of the pin drops, also changing the view. I can arrow over to future dates. I can also see my work pool as appointments on the map when I click the bullet sign icon, it will show me everything that is in my work pool list on the map. Also, again, the mist, it will show it as a red button. So my work pool is black, my red, I'm sorry, my mist is red, and when I turn it off, the pin drop shapes are what is on the schedule. When I click that button, it will give me a full page. Again, when I go back, it shows the calendar once again. I can create new jobs right from this screen by either clicking Create New Work Order or 
clicking white space on the calendar and the desired time. Then when I go into schedule info, it populates the exact time. Also, from this screen, I can view traffic. So I can turn on and off traffic. Also, I can see the satellite view. Or, again, go back to map view. And that is a brief explanation of what our calendar can do. Have a great day.